Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this mini Among Us doll. This is another original design and many people actually wanted me to make one, a mini version of my Among Us doll. So uh, I made one and I think it turned out super cute. This is how it looks like. It still has the backpack, but it's a small one. And yeah, it has the goggles and everything. And if you haven't checked my Among Us doll tutorial, I will put up a link in the description box below, as well as my Among Us doll series like the dead and the ghost. So I'm gonna show you guys the Among Us doll so you can have an idea of how this is going to look like or the size of this one so yeah here it is and it's pretty small it only consumes half the body so yeah that's why it's called mini right so yeah let's just ju jump right into this video so the materials that you are gonna need are any type of hook C clip, S clip, or stitch marker, and some bands as well. So I have three colors here. This red one is going to be for the body, like the body in the backpack. You know, this black one is going to be for when we attach the goggles to the head part, like the outline. Sorry for the background noise, guys. And this white one is going to be for the goggles so that's that and you are also going to need a little bit of stuffing well you may choose not to add stuffing i just add a little bit stuffing on the head so that it gives a sh um it will give a shape but if you don't want to add stuffing you may do as well it's up to you since it's your gummy design it's your gonna be what am i talking it is gonna be yours you know okay let's get started so first thing that we're going to make are the goggles here and for this goggles i only use um, a single band um, in this video i will be using two bands for all of them i'm just gonna see how it like looks like maybe it looks better with double bands like two bands in each you know but if you want to do it with single, you can do that as well. So yeah, just grab your white bands. I'm just gonna put them in front quickly. And if you hear any background noises, guys, I'm super sorry. I am really trying my best to like avoid the background noises. Um, right now I'm wearing headphones so that it will not like get the whole noise so that only a few noise will get involved to the video because it annoys me so much <sighs> i'm really sorry for the background noises guys but yeah i'm so talkative today <laughs> wow but yeah let's just jump right in let's start with the goggles so first you want to grab a uh, cap um, two bands this is going to be for the cap band and your hook just put your cap band on your hook and um, twist these two bands to the left face it face your hook to yourself and um, put that other end to your hook like that and i actually made a separate video i mean yeah i made a video on loomy groomy basics it is entitled loomy groomy tutorial I explained there a lot of, uh, you know, the guide to Lumi Gurumi, especially for beginners. So, if you want to check that out, I'm gonna put up a link in the description box as well. But yeah, so we made our cap band. Grab your, grab two bands again, and we are just gonna s pull, um, pull this through the cap band. So once you have this on your hook. You're just going to slide the cap band in like that and reclaim. So you have one chain. So this is actually what we're going. We're gonna stop 
right in here. Now what we're going to do is grab two bands again. I'm going to use two bands for the whole thing. So, But two bands. Pull through. Reclaim. And we want to put these um, one, these two ones to over the left one. So you want to put this left one in this part so that it gets stuck. And when it gets stuck, you want to twist your hook, and then you're just gonna slide that in. We're gonna do that one more time. Go back into the same chain. Pull through a band, reclaim. Now we have three um, individual loops. Well, technically it's six, but you know, I'm just gonna say three. So we want to put these two right ones over this one in the left. Again, we want to put this um, left band to this here of the hook the tip so that it gets stuck and so that we can just put simply put this over it so once it's once your first um, once your left bands are stuck twist your hook then just slide like that now we are done with that part in this cap band we are going to do four just go into your cap band for the first one and basically we're just doing the same thing and that's one go back in for your second one and that's two That's three. Go back in for your fourth one. And that's number four. Now in this, we are back again to our first chain. We're just gonna do two more. So go back in, doing the same exact thing. So this is just basically a s like stitching, but with using two bands in my case in your case you can do one and that's number two so this is what you should have right now and then we want to go in here our first stitch and the slip knot so go to your first stitch grab a single white band pull it to everything reclaim the other end and slip knot so yeah that's how you make the goggles okay okay next thing that we are going to make is the backpack and that's super simple super easy so grab your body color just a few because um, our backpack doesn't um, involve a lot of bands so first thing that you're going to do is do a magic ring of four so again your hook band put the band on your hook grab a hold of the band twist it to the left face go down and reclaim that other end now you have a cap band with two loops now we want to grab the one that's on the left Twist it to the left and grab it. Um, put your hook to that loop so that it gets in. Now we have a triple loop cap band. We're just going to pull four bands here, one at a time. So this is my first one. We want to slide this three loops cap band onto this band. Like that. Reclaim the other end and put this right one over the left one so like that go 
go back into your cafe and do another one. Put these two right ones over the one on the left. That's two. Now we just have to do two more. So that's a total of four. And thank you guys so so much for 400 subscribers. I really never thought I'd reach that amount. So yeah, thank you so much. So that's my fourth one. So I'm just gonna count just to be safe. So this one, two, three, and four is the one that's on my hook. Grab your C clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. Then second row, aka the last row as well, we're just gonna do increase around. So go to your first stitch. Go through a band and just stitch. And we are doing increase, so we wanna go back into the first stitch and do one more. And that's an increase, go to your second one. Next one, go back in. And that's two. And your third stitch. A band just rolled out of nowhere. That's one. And that's two. And go to your last stitch, the one that... Bleh, the one with the C-clip on. That's one. And this is your two. If you want an in-depth tutorial, again guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below to the video I made on like Lumic Ring Basics. Now you just can get rid of your C-clip. And go to this first stitch. Right there. Just grab a band. Go through everything. And slip knot. And we're gonna save this for later when we attach it to the body now we can start with the body so grab your body color again i'm using red this is kind of a jelly red this is one of the bands that i got on my loom band saw the one that i only paid ten dollars for really nice big steel really happy I negotiated with the seller <laughs> okay let's get started so first thing that we are going to do is a magic ring of five so grab a band your hook wrap it once and twice creating three loops grab a band pull this Three loop cap end to the band, reclaim the other end, and you stitch, go back into your cap band, like that, and grab a band, and stitch, so that's number two, number four, I, I mean number three, <laughs> number four, and number five. Now we have five stitches. This is one, two, three, four, and five is the one that's on your hook. You can now grab your C clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. Now we are going to do an increase around and that's gonna leave us with 10 stitches that just go to your first one and grab a band and stitch like that and go back into that same stitch for your second one we're gonna do that around four more times I'm sorry guys for the background noise but it's We are still doing increases. My 
camera wait wait but the quality is not not good since I think it's gonna rain like the sun is out I mean yeah the sun is not showing yeah I'm on my last stitch I'm still doing increases remove your c-clip and put it to the band that's on your hook next step that we are going to make is on stitches 5 and stitches 10 we are going to do an increase so I'm gonna count this is number 1 number 2 number three number four and on our fifth one we are going to do an increase so this is my fifth stitch i'm going to do an increase that's one go back in and pull through another one that's an increase All right. our next increase is on stitch number 10 so we did our fifth one this is our sixth seven eight nine and this band with a c-clip on is an increase since it is stitch number 10 just pull through two bands one at a time remove your stitch marker put it to the bands on your hook now you should have a total of 12 so this is number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve is on your hook and next row is going to be stitches 6 and stitches 12 stitches 6 and 12 are going to be an increase so I'm gonna count again this is number 1 number 2 number 3 number number five and next stitch is number six and we are going to do an increase so just pull through two bands one at a time like that and this is number seven eight And stage number 12 is going to be another increase. So just pull through two bands one at a time. Remove your stage marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. And uh, now we should have a total of 14 stitches. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 is the one that's on your hook. Now we are just going to do two rounds of single, and I think I'll be doing both rounds with you guys since this is only a small, you know, space to work with. So this is my first row. Stitch one. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
Um, stitch union and the band with a slip up on is stitch number 14. You want to remove your stitch marker and put it to the band from your hook. It should look like this so far. And this is our second row. So just stitch around and that's one, two, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14. Remove your stitch marker, put it to the band on your hook. Now you have a something that looks like this. You want to pinch it and put your slip up to the right side and find the middle. So I think this one is my middle. What you're going to do is just stitch, put up a band, pull it through everything, stitch, then we are going to go to the other, so we are just going to go around, and we should have a total of 7, and that's number 2, that's number Three, number four. This is how I did the legs on my Among Us doll. So if you already made that one, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I forgot a seat clip. I'm just gonna be back. <laughs> gonna get a seat clip. So yeah, I have a seat clip on. And this is the side that we did. We are going to do the same thing to the right side. Again, having seven stitches. So that's one. We have two. Seven. 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 And put a band on your hook. Now we can actually put a little bit of stuffing. If you choose not to add, that's okay. But I'm gonna add mine a little bit. I'm just gonna get my stuffing. I think this amount is um, good already. Just grab, I mean, go through a hole and just put this in you can use a pencil to guide you so that it will be easier for you to put stuffing inside but yeah after that we are going to do two rows per leg i'm gonna do both with you i'm just gonna put these two this one is for the right one and this is for the left one i'm gonna do my left one first um, just doing two rows of single all around. And this is my first 
And do that one more time. And that's one, two, three. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Now, once we are done with our two rows, we are just going to do a decrease around. So just do decreases until it's closed. And that's one decrease. Two more decrease. And three. And what you're going to do is just grab a band, pull through everything, and just slip knot. Then what you're going to do with that band is of course hide it somewhere over the leg. So just tuck that inside. It, it doesn't want to go in. But yeah, tuck that inside. Now we are going to do our right leg the same way. Again, two rows of single around. So first row, stitch number one. And after this, we are going to do a decrease around until we close it up. So just decrease around. That's one decrease, two decrease, and three decrease. So I did three decreases. Pull a band through everything, slip knot, and hide the band. We're just gonna hide that inside the legs. And we are done with the body. Now we are going to attach the goggles and the backpack. Okay, let's attach the goggles. And to attach the goggles, you are going to need eight back bands or so. Okay. Grab your body and your goggles. So here it is. Okay, this is how we attach it. So, in my case, I use two bands, but it goes the same way if you use a single band. 
so you want to go I mean we are just going to attach them um, with the back like when we attach it we only pick the ones in the back like that so yeah again we are going to go through the um, one farthest from our hook like these stitches are near these are the back ones and that's the far we want to get that like that after you stick your hook to that loop you're just gonna pick a spot in the body like that grab your black band and pull it through everything and stitch and go to the next one again picking up the back loops stitching the body pull through everything and stitch back loop stitching the body pull through everything and stitch back loop in the goggles stitch in the body pull through everything and stitch back loop of the goggles stitching the body pull through everything stitch back loop of the goggles stitch in the body black band pull through stitch back loop of the goggles stitch in the body and black band pull through everything and stitch now to this last one back loop the goggles stitch in the body black band and we're just gonna slip knot like that after that we can just tuck these slip knots in so for the white band you are gonna tuck that inside the white portion for the goggles And for this black band, you're just going to tuck that inside the body. Yeah. And you can kind of fix it. You can kind of tuck, I mean, pull this black band so that it shows up a little. We've attached the goggles. Now we can attach the backpack to the back side of the body. Grab your backpack and we are just going to stitch this in. Grab a spot. Pull to one stitch in the backpack and put it wherever you like at the back. And we're just gonna stitch it. And we're gonna use four bands. This is one. Okay, we're gonna use four. Go to some other stitch. And we're just stitching it in all. You can do slip knots, that will do as well. That's how I did my big uh, Momonga stock. So if 
you don't want stitching, you can do stitch but not without work. Once you finish attaching it, you can just hold that knot to everything and then hide this slip knot in the backpack. So let's hide this. And you can kind of fix the backpack. Like that. So that is how you make my mini Among Us doll. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you followed along and I hope you make it as well. Um, this has been Olympus the Loomer. If you make one, please tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag Olympus the Loomer. I'm gonna put up a link in my Instagram below. <laughs> Bye!